On the back of an impressive 1-0 win over Beijing IT earlier in the week, coach Dave Irving took his side to face Kazakhstan Premier League opposition in FC Aktobe, who reached the third qualifying round of the Champions League as recently as two years ago. The Hammerheads went into the game full of confidence and almost got off to the perfect start. Will Heaney's delivery was spilled by the Aktobe keeper, but no one could get on the end of Jamal Wallace's cross. Their opponents also had early sights of goal, but couldn't break the deadlock. Moments before the break though, Aktobe took the lead, in what was a cruel blow to the Hammerheads. This move well finished by their striker. The Hammerheads came out for the second half much the better side though, and soon had a goal to show for it. Will Heaney firstly did well to win his side a corner. And from the resulting set piece, Jamel Wallace popped up to put his side level, 1-1. They could have taken the lead just two minutes later, when Heaney and Wallace combined again, but this effort was headed away from under the bar. The Kazakhs reminded Coach Irving's side that they still posed a threat going forward though, and also could have taken a 2-1 lead. And as both sides pushed for a late winner, there were two good chances for the Hammerheads through Stefano Baez late on. But 1-1 it stayed, on a day during which the North Carolinans proved more than a match for their experienced opponents. Good game today. Um, is it a game you should have won? Yeah, I thought in the end uh, we, uh, we put them under quite a bit of pressure and uh, we, we were unfortunate to win the game. But, uh, you know, a goal, they scored a, uh, you know, we, we were that poor goal in just before half-time. And then right after half-time we, we got it back, so... Uh, after, after that point, I thought we were on the front foot and uh, we, we pressed them back and we were lucky not to uh, finish them off. But uh, the boys really worked hard. Obviously, we didn't know what we were up against the first the first half, so we, we did play it a little a little cagey. We, we dropped back in a little bit, but once we, we saw what we were up against, we decided to I'd press a little bit more and go forward, and it paid off. And, I, and as I say, I thought we should have won the game, but it was a it was a good uh, experience. And I think uh, some of the, the players, from my standpoint, from the trialist, uh, did themselves a lot of good tonight. As in the last game, it's one from a corner. How important are those? Since you... Yeah, you know, uh, we, 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 we've got some big boys in there. We scored a goal. I was more disappointed at the goal we let in. Um, because that was just just a just a positional thing, but it's pre-season. Uh, we still got a lot of players finding their legs. We used everybody on the bench, um, you know. So we uh, it's still early days for us. Uh, you know, it's pre-season. Uh, we haven't played that much football and we haven't done much fitness. So all we know it was it was a good outing tonight, and uh, I take my hats off to the players and everybody. And uh, it, it was a, it was a good showing. And uh, actually, looking for, I think the guys are looking forward to Wednesday's game now, which is always pleasing. Good team performance today. Was it nice to get the goal, though, from a personal point of view? Yeah, it's real good to get the goal. I mean, ended with a tie, so, you know, the tie goal. It's always good to get a result, especially when you're on the road. All in all, impressive. So, uh, where do you improve now for the next game? Uh, I think we just if we can just hold the ball a little longer, uh, keep the possession of the ball a lot longer, a lot more. Um, I think we'll do a lot better. Uh, as I saw the second half, uh, when we had the ball, possession of the ball, we moved it, did a lot better, got uh, got some more chances. So um, I think if we do that better in our next game, uh, I think we can win.